security is one of the biggest concerns of today's society, and access to specific physical or virtual spaces is critical. Identity theft is a risk that companies or institutions which develop activities related to security, defense, banking or other fields in which violation may pose a threat cannot afford. The ID Testing Lab, the evaluation laboratory for identification systems, provides society with knowledge and technology on biometric identification and smart cards, which are key in new solutions to improve security protocols, evaluate the reliability of identification devices, create protection profiles, or implement national and international standardization criteria. What I did is a PhD thesis uh, exactly on integrating biometrics within uh, smart cards in order that all the comparison is done within the card. Starting working in biometrics, we also led to work on different modalities within the biometrics world. As I have said, uh, we have developed our own solutions in uh, uh, fingerprint, in iris recognition, in hand uh, biometrics, in hand geometric biometrics, and also some in, uh, in speaker recognition, but also in more recent uh, modalities such as uh, vascular systems. And also one other modality which is now quite uh, interesting and being, being deployed, that is handwritten signature uh, biometrics. Our activity ranges from the field of smart cards to all modalities of biometric identification systems, including fingerprint, iris recognition, hand geometry, vascular biometrics, or recognition of handwritten signatures. We have facilities to evaluate devices at three levels, i.e. technological evaluation, scenario evaluation, and operative evaluation. We can have three different levels of evaluation. The first one is the, let's say, easier one, that is the technological evaluation. In that evaluation, you just take a product and you evaluate its performance, both in time or error rates, um, compared to certain databases, either captured directly by us or acquired uh, by us from other sources. Um, with that, you get the performance of the, of the system, but without any control conditions, just at the laboratory conditions. It is much more interesting to perform in a scenario evaluation, so that is uh, performing how the um, device behaves under certain control conditions. In that case, we have the equipment needed uh, in order to model such a scenario in terms of temperature, for example, from minus 50 till plus 80 degrees Celsius, uh, or humidity about the whole range from nearly 0% till nearly 100% or also illumination, uh, either level, wavelength and orientation, because uh, we have a, a system that is able to uh, model the lighting conditions uh, in white uh, light, in warm light or in uh, infrared light that uh, is able to be selected in different intensities with different flickering and also in different orientations, both in the 360 degrees so you can have, uh, for example, in a scenario by retro illumination or just illumination at the front or in the lateral side, or even combining that with different heights in the illumination in the illumination of the of the subject or of the of the sensor. Uh, we also model the uh, position of the of the devices and also uh, the the users that are um, uh, acting within the, uh, the scenario evaluation because we have to recruit a test crew and that crew uh, will have to be representative to the uh, target population that is going to be used using the, the system. The ability to jointly evaluate all factors involved in a process of identifying people allows us to develop highly reliable multi-platform identification systems. We work with different uh, modalities within the biometric sector. We work with different platforms, mobile platforms, server platforms, desktop platforms. Uh, and we also evaluate uh, within the different aspects that we can uh, achieve or we can consider that can influence uh, the behavior of a biometric system. Um, 
not only usability, not only uh, convenience for the user, not only the performance, but also, for example, the security. And this is one of our research lines that we, we work on. We also uh, develop uh, guidelines and uh, protection profiles in order to obtain final products that could uh, guarantee uh, security and satisfaction. Diverse and successful experience allows us to evaluate working identification systems with precision in order to apply corrective measures and select the modality and the biometric recognition device that is most suitable in those that are newly developed. We have created a niche within the international sector of identification technology, both in smart cards and biometric identification.